So welcome everyone to um, today's 75 minute all levels flow. My name is Mia and I will be guiding practice today. Um, as always, this is all levels, so take everything to your own degree, listen to your body, um, and respond to it with compassion in each and every moment. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start on our backs. So find a comfortable position. You can put your feet on the mat. Gently closing your eyes if that feels good. Your hands might roll up, palms face up by your sides. Or just do whatever feels right. Like. So we'll take a few cleansing breaths together here to settle into our practice, to let go of the rest of our day, and to draw our awareness under. Let's inhale together slowly through the nose. And just let it out through the breath, through the mouth. Breathing deeply. I'm not being heard. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Let's try this. How's the sound? Okay, we've got sound. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move over here and you just give me the thumb up or down. If you can hear me when I'm here. Thumb up. Okay. Sorry guys. All right. So we're finding our own natural breath here. Breathing deeply and just noticing the rise and fall of the chest and the belly. And if you use ujjayi breath in your practice, you're welcome to engage that now. So that's an audible breath, breathing in and out through the nose, kind of pressing the air to the roof of your mouth, making an ocean sound. And the sound of the breath is what is going to guide us today. And I'm asking you to listen to your breath, listen to the rhythm of your breath, and respond to it. So you want to feel a calm, steady rhythm, full inhales and full exhales. If at any point you find your rhythm is off, that's a sign you need to back off the posture a little bit and return to your breath. Let's take a deep inhale, stretching feet towards the front of the room, fingers towards the back, maybe wiggling toes, and waking up the wrists and the ankles, just lengthening the body. Another deep breath here, lengthening, lengthening. And then let's drop everything in tight to a ball. Knees to the nose, nose to knees. Rock side to side for a little back massage. And then we'll let the let feet plant again. And let's find our um, strap. So strap our belt. We're going to lace the belt around the ball of the right foot, sending the right foot to the sky. Pressing the foot to the sky and pressing it back into the mat, trying to take the arch out of the low back. 
find a neutral spinal alignment. Relaxing the shoulders and breathing. You can stay here or lengthen your left foot forward. From here on the inhale, let's open the right foot to the right. You can rest your elbow on the mat for support. If this is too intense, bend your knee and just simply clasp your um, hand to your knee instead of using the strap. Deep breath in and let that go. We'll inhale the leg back to center and switch the grip so the left hand grips the, the um, belt or strap. Inhale here, lengthening the spine and exhale, crossing the left, the right leg over the body, coming into a twist. Again, you can rest your elbow on the mat to support your leg. Your shoulder should be flat against the mat and your gaze can be over your right hand. Breathing deeply, noticing the areas of tension, sending your exhales to those areas and softening. Inhale, coming back to center. Plant that foot on the mat and we'll extend the right foot to the sky. Loop the strap around the ball of the foot. Press the ball of the foot high and breathe. You might draw this leg a little closer to the body for more of a hamstring stretch. And you can lengthen the right leg forward if you try it on the, left, on the other side. From here, we'll inhale, opening the leg to the left, right hand on right hip for stability. Finding support, propping the elbow on the ground, and breathing. We'll inhale, coming back to center. Switch the grip. Right hand clasps the strap. Left hand extends long. And on an exhale, we're going to cross the, the leg across the body, coming into a twist. Gaze is over the left. Hand, if that's comfortable, shoulders are relaxing against the mat. Full deep breaths. Let's inhale, coming back to center. Release your strap and keep it nearby. Send the right leg up to meet the left. And we'll inhale the arms overhead, finding a flat back. Pressing the low back against the mat, engaging the core, pressing the balls of the feet to the sky. Let's inhale here and on the exhale, reach for your toes. Inhale back, exhale toes. Inhale back, exhale toes. Two more at your own pace. Beautiful. The men will spend the knees, clasp the outer edges of the feet, and draw the knees to the outer ribs for happy baby pose. So you can stay here in stillness, gently pressing the feet toward the body with your hands and countering that action by pressing your feet up to the sky. Or you can rock side to side just feeling what is right for you in this moment. Waking up the hips. And then we'll bring the knees to center, hold behind them, and we'll rock up and back three times. At the top, we'll balance on our tailbone and find boat pose. So coming up to boat, you can have toes down. That looks great, Rebecca. Arms stretching forward, heart lifts, shoulders relax. And we'll breathe three full deep breaths, drawing the core toward the thighs. Gaze can lift toward the sky. Feeling the core turn on. Excellent. Relax the legs down, find a comfortable seat. From here, we're just gonna float the arms out and reach them up to the sky. Hands meet at the top and we draw them to heart center. Let's just close the eyes for a moment. If you practice with an intention, if you like to set an intention, please do that now. 
mine today is going to be to bring my awareness to physical sensation and to um, meet that sensation with compassion. With your intention in mind, let's take another deep breath. The arms reach all the way out, 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 as far as they can, up to the sky. Breathing here with arms lifted, and then bringing them together through heart center. We'll extend the legs long, coming into Dandasana, staff pose. I'll turn so you can see my position. I am in, uh, tilting the tailbone down to engage the core relaxing the shoulders, feet are flexed, spine is long. Deep breath here, letting it go. And the next inhale, reaching all the way up and hinging at the hips with a flat back, coming forward, letting my hands drop whenever I get to my edge. So with a flat back here, we're gonna inhale and see if we can hinge a little deeper on the exhale. One more inhale and exhale, soften, folding forward. You can round your back, head toward the knees. Feel the breath expanding your back body. And then let's slowly roll up. We'll set the hands behind the hips. Fingers point forward, point the toes forward. And we're going to inhale, pressing the chest and the heart up to the sky. Exhaling here. Inhaling again. If you'd like to take it further, press the hips up to the sky. Toes are still pointing. This is reverse plank. Slowly and gently release back down. Sit up nice and tall. And we'll draw the right knee into the chest. We'll on inhale here, exhale, twisting to the right. Just gently twisting to start the practice. So your left arm can wrap the knee. Gaze is over the right shoulder. Breathing deeply. Inhale, coming back to center. Let that right knee fall open, finding John Yushir Shasana. We'll inhale, lengthening the spine. And exhale, hinging forward toward the left toes. Stay here for a breath. Softening and sinking on the exhale. Inhale, rolling back up. Let's set that leg wide. You can readjust the right foot. We'll inhale, reaching out and up. And on the exhale, let the left arm fall toward the left leg and reach over with the right for a side body stretch. You can brace your left arm against left leg to spin the chest open and breathe. Inhale back to center, hands through heart center, and we return to staff pose. Then we'll draw the left knee in, inhale, lengthening the spine, exhale, twisting to the left, the right arm wraps, we tend the left fingers, gaze follows the left shoulder, breathing here, feeling the body expand and soften. Inhale, coming back to center, the left knee falls open, Inhale, lengthening the spine, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hinging forward toward the right toes, Janu Shashasana. Lengthening the back on the inhale and softening and folding deeply on the exhale. Staying here for a breath. Inhale, rolling up. Widen that um, right leg. We'll inhale, floating arms up to Exhale, dropping the right arm to the right leg and reaching over with the left, spinning the chest to the sky, deep side body stretch. We'll inhale, coming back to center, hands through heart center. Excellent. Let's just um, bring our knees together and around to the side. We're going to come up into tabletop. 
tabletop is an active pose, so our shoulders are over our wrists. Modify as you need, <clears throat> hips over knees, and we're drawing our core, our abdominal muscles in and up, and we're tipping our tailbone back, lengthening the crown of the head toward the front of the room. So our core is engaged, all our muscles are engaged, we're pressing down through the hands and through the shin, the feet. From here, let's inhale, cat pose, pressing the back to the sky. Exhale, cow pose, heart draws forward, tailbone tips up. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Three more at your own pace. And then we'll step our hands forward one step, press forward, finding modified plank. We'll move through modified vinyasa. So we'll bend the arms, keeping the elbows to the ribs, land all the way down on the belly, send the feet back, scoop the hands back to the low ribs, and shine the heart forward on an inhale, low cobra. On the exhale, we press into the hands, coming back to child's pose. And then we tuck toes and send the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. That was the modified vinyasa. You can take it at any time and a cue for a vinyasa. Breathing here in down dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hips distance, spine is long. Let's inhale, lifting the, the heels to the sky. Exhale, bending the knees deeply. Inhale, pressing into the hands, lengthening the spine. Exhale, drop the heels to the mat. Relax the shoulders. Feel all that length that you gained. And then we'll try to keep that in the down dog. From here, let's look to the top of the mat. Slowly walk to the top. Clasping opposite elbows. Fold deeply. Knees can bend. Ragdoll pose. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Shake the head, no, and yes. Maybe loosen the jaw if you feel any tension there. And then we'll release the arms down, bend into the knees, and roll up, stacking one vertebrae over the other, bringing the head up last. Finding mountain pose. Good morning. Excellent. So strong mountain pose, solid foundation, a little softness in the knees, and our tailbone is tucking under, so we've got a neutral spine. From here, let's inhale, flowing the arms out and up to the sky, and drop them down into heart center. Pausing to reconnect with our intention, reconnect with the breath. And then we'll inhale the arms out and up. And this time we'll stretch over to the right side. Inhaling up to center, lengthening the spine, and exhale to the left. Inhale to center. And on the exhale, we'll twist to the right, arms open, making sure you keep the hips pointing forward. Inhale, coming up through center, arms rise. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, arms rise to center. And we'll bring our feet together um, and come into chair pose on the exhale. We'll inhale, under, lengthening, and exhale, sitting in chair. Think of a thunderbolt for your chair pose so your back is flat, your tailbone tips down, shoulders relax, so you can spin your pinkies toward one another. You should be able to see all 10 toes. Gaze is somewhere ahead of you on the floor. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart and fold. Let's step back to down dog. Breathing here. Stretching from heels. 
to fingertips. And on the inhale, the right leg rises to the sky. Heel stretches up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bending that right knee and open it to the right. Deep breath here. Exhale it back to center. Knee rises. And as we exhale, we're going to um, roll forward to plank arms and bring right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, rolling forward, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently step that foot forward between the hands. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes. On an inhale, we're going to rise up, low lunge, on Asana. Pressing into the legs and lifting up out of the hips. Gaze rises. Breath is full and easy. On an exhale, we twist open to the right. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, straighten to the right leg, modified Hanumanasana, stretching into the hamstring. And then we exhale, bending into that knee, right hand comes to the left. And we're gonna um, keep standing the foot and open ourselves up, this is modified warrior two. So we're running through the whole series in a modified version so that we know where to go if we need to modify later. Shoulders are over hips. If you need padding under your knee, you can double up your mat. Gaze is over the right hand. And then on an inhale, we'll reach the right arm up to the sky, reversing the warrior. Maybe the hand needs the mat or your block. And as we exhale, we come back to warrior two, drop the forehand to the leg, and we'll sweep the left arm up, coming into modified side angle. Let's take some um, shoulder circles here, opening up the left shoulder, and then sweeping in the other direction. Nice. Beautiful, Jane. So gaze to the sky. And then we'll pivot the leg back, reaching our hands for the ground. Knee comes back to meet the other. And we press back, child's pose. Hand to the mat, the head to the mat. Deep breath here. And let it go. Anytime if you need a break, you need to return to your breath, to your intention. Find child's pose. On an inhale, we press back up. And find down dog. Deep breath in, let it go. Inhale, the left leg rises. Heel to the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, bending the knee, opening that hip up to the left. Inhaling here, exhale back to three-legged dog. Inhale here, exhale left knee to left elbow. Inhale, the left foot rises. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, the foot rises. Exhale, gently plant that foot at the top between the hands, right knee plants, untuck the toes, rising up on an inhale for low lunge. Tailbone tips down. We're pressing down through the legs to lift up out of the hips. Gaze is high. Full deep breaths. Inhale here. Exhale, twisting open to the left. Hips pick point forward. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands plant. Maybe use blocks here. And we straighten into the left leg, modified Hanumanasana. Deep breath in, let it go. We'll bend back into that left leg, hands move to the inside of the foot. The right foot pivots across the mat, and we window open, finding our modified warrior two. So I toe heel my foot forward so that my knee and heel are in alignment. Breathing here, gaze over the left middle fingers. 
On an inhale, the left arm rises, reaching back to reverse this modified warrior. Inhaling back to warrior two. And then reaching forward, planting that left forearm on the thigh and pivoting the right arm overhead, coming into modified side angle. We'll take our um, big shoulder circles here, three in one direction, and then three in the other. Pivoting the heart to the sky, deep breath in, and then we release, hands to the mat. Let's pivot our feet back and take a modified vinyasa or a full vinyasa. So coming up to plank, back is long, feeling strong, exhaling down, chaturanga, elbows into the ribs. Inhale, urdhva mukha, knees lift off the mat, heart rises, shoulders on the back. Exhale, lifting the hips. Downward facing dog. Excellent. Another deep breath here. Reconnecting to the earth. And then we go forward, hop or step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back. And exhale, fold deeply. Tipping the tailbone to the side. We'll inhale, coming up through chair pose. Tailbone points down, spine is long. And then as we breathe in, we rise all the way up, bringing hands to heart center. All right. So now we'll do a little balancing, bringing our feet together and finding a drishti, a focal point on something that's not going to move. We've got our neutral spinal alignment, so the core is engaged. Hands are at the heart. On an inhale, the right knee rises to hip height. I'll turn so you can see me better. And we're going to clasp that knee and hold here for three breaths, pressing into the left foot and lifting up out of the hips, feeling some buoyancy in the upper body. Two more breaths. And then we'll take the left hand to the left hip and open the right knee to the right. Three breaths here, really opening up that hip, tipping the hips and tailbone under, pressing down to lift up. Awesome. Yes, rotating the ankle if that feels good. And then drawing the knee back to center, switch the grip. <laughs> And then we're gonna reach the right arm up and open, twisting to the right. So this one requires us to switch our drift to our focal point. So find a focal point somewhere on the left, on the right, or behind you, and breathe. Yeah. Then we're gonna release our hands, our knee is rising. And we're going to reach to the right foot, see if we can get a quad stretch here. So pressing the right ankle or foot into the hand, feeling a stretch. And then gently release, shake it out. And we'll take it to the other side. So let's just inhale, stretching up to the sky for a moment. Hands connect and draw down to the heart. Inhale, left knee rises, we clasp it here. Eyes on our drishti, pressing through the right foot, lifting up out of the hips, feeling lightness and buoyancy in the heart. Two more deep breaths. Wiggling the ankle to bring some lubrication there, if that feels good. Opening the leg out to the left on an inhale. Nice. Keeping some softness in the right knee. One more deep breath here. The knee comes back to center. We switch the grip. Left arm reaches up and back, and we twist open to the left. 
Our drishti shifts, but we keep balanced. We keep our connection and rootedness into the ground, and we keep the buoyancy in our heart. Deep breath in, and we return to center, clasping the left foot for a quad stretch. Breathing here and releasing. Shake it out. And then let's get to the top of the mat and we'll move through a vinyasa. So let's take a nice deep breath, opening the arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, folding hands through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, move through chaturanga. Upward facing dog on an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. From here, we're going to lift the right leg high. Three legged dog. Exhale, bending that knee and opening to the right. If you practice with wild thing, you can flip your down dog, coming into wild thing, pressing the hips to the side. Inhale, coming back to center. This time we'll exhale right knee to right shoulder. Inhale, foot to the sky. Exhale, right knee to left shoulder, and then kick that foot off the mat. Um, rotate your left foot so you're resting on the inner edge of the foot and open up. Finding fallen star. Yes, hips rise, gaze rises to the hands, deep breath in, and then return the hand to the mat. Return the leg to the sky. Inhaling here, we'll exhale, stepping it all the way through. Inhale, rising up, high lunge. I like to bend my left knee when I start here. That helps me get a tip to the tailbone. And then I straighten it, floating the arms up, inhaling, exhale, twist to the right. If you'd like to stay here or drop the right hand, reach the left to the sky, exhaling back through that open twist, through that open arm twist, inhaling high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, straightening into the right leg. Bring your left foot in so you can plant that heel. And we're going to find pyramid pose. So both feet are pointing forward, hips are pointing forward. We inhale, lengthening the spine, hands to the hips. Exhale, hinging at the hips, finding a flat back. You can stay here. You can use blocks if you prefer. Breathing here. Pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward to maximize that stretch in the hamstring. One more deep breath. And on an inhale, we're going to rise up. Pivot the right feet to the wide edge of the mat. Inhale, reaching the arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, cactus, arms. One more, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, cactus. Release the hands down behind you. If it's available to you, interlace fingers. If not, hands come to the hips. We'll inhale with a little back bend, reaching the heart up to the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Reaching the hands to the sky and breathing. Try not to lock the knees, leave a little softness there. Let the head be heavy. The breath is full and easy. Release the hands to the hips. Let's rise up with a flat back. Pivot the right toes out, and we'll find warrior two. So the right knee bends deeply, right knee is over ankle, but you should be able to see your toes. Left foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat, or at a slight angle. Hips are open, shoulders over hips. Make sure you're not 
pulling too far one way or the other. And we're breathing. Inhale, reaching the right arm up, reverse warrior. Exhale, reaching that forward, coming into side angle. Options. You can have your four, forearm on your thigh. You can use a block planted behind your foot and plant your hand there. You can find, as Rebecca is doing, left hand behind the back. And we're breathing. One more deep breath here. Heart opens to the sky. And then we inhale up to warrior two. Windmill ourselves down, moving in across, and take a vinyasa. If you'd like a challenge, you can float your right leg, moving through chaturanga, kuripa mukha, and anja mukha sankasana. On the next breath, we'll inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bending the knee, opening the hip, taking a wild thing if you try it on the other side. Exhale, coming back to three-legged dog. Inhale here, exhale, left knee left. Elbow. <laughs> Inhale, go high. Exhale, left knee right elbow, and then Kick that foot out, roll to the inner edge of the right foot, open your arm right arm to the sky, falling star. Deep, full breath here, pressing the hips high, and then exhale, hand to the mat, left foot back to the sky, and then draw that knee to the chest, planting the foot, and rising up, high lunge. Again, you might bend that back knee just to get the correct spinal alignment, then extend it. Full deep breaths here. On the next exhale, twist open to the left. You can stay here or drop the left hand, reaching the right to the sky for a little back bend. Coming back through that twist. Excellent. Inhaling high lunge. Exhaling, straightening into pyramid, hands to hips, maybe shortening the stance. Deep breath in, lengthening the spine. Exhaling to a flat back. Use your props if you like them on the other side. And breathe. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Core is engaged and lifting. Then we're going to bring hands to hips, rise all the way up, pivot to the wide edge of the mat, pivot toes to the wide edge of the mat. Inhale, reaching all the way out and up to the sky. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus arms. Last time, inhale, reaching up to the sky. Cactus the arms, open the heart. Release the hands behind you. Interlace the unusual way. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, folding forward. Making sure to keep the weight of your posture in the middle of your feet so that your bum isn't pressing too far back. Breathing deeply. I can show a bit to you from the side. So I want my Hips pretty much over my heels, not further back. We release hands to hips, rise all the way up. Pivot the left toes out and sink down, warrior two. So hips are open, breathing deeply, shoulders relax, shoulders are over hips. Inhale, lifting the left arm up and back, reversing the warrior. Exhale, reaching it forward and down for side angle pose to whatever degree you took it on the other side. If you like the high, half find, you can reach your right arm around for that. 
One more deep breath here and let it go. On an inhale, rise back to warrior two. Windmill down and take a vinyasa or meet us in down dog. Shoulders relaxed, heels reached for the mat, spine is long, and we're breathing. Let's inhale, looking to the top of the mat, hop or squat to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Let's inhale, rising up through chair. Exhale, hands to the heart center, and take a twist, twisting to the right. Deep breath in, keeping the hips lower than the head. Inhale through center, twisting the other way. Beautiful, Jane. Deep breath in, and let it go. Back to center and rise all the way up and release. How are you doing, yoginis? All right. <laughs> Excellent. That's what I like. So now comes our strap, if you have it. Take the strap and rest it around the shoulders. We're going to do some balancing and we're going to move through Uttita Asta Pada Hustasana, hand to big toe pose. So find your neutral spinal alignment, pressing through the feet. We're going to send the weight into the right foot, inhale, lifting the left knee. We do the left side first. From here, you can take your strap interlace it around the ball of the foot as we did at the beginning of practice and press that foot toward the front of the room. Right hand can come to hip and we balance, pressing down through the right foot and lifting up through the heart and the hips and the head. Three breaths here, gorgeous. On an inhale, we're going to open that foot out to the left and keep our balance by pressing the right, the left foot into the strap, pulling the strap, pressing down into the mat, and breathing. Yes. One more breath here. We'll move back to center. Let's switch the grip. Right hand takes the strap, left hand comes to the hip, or you can inhale that left arm up as we open and twist to the left. Gaze and drishti are gonna shift, but we're staying balanced. Amazing balance. Two more deep breaths. Inhale, coming back to center. I'm not through with you yet. Release the strap and swing your leg back. Just for a minute, we're gonna find warrior three. <laughs> yes, it's reaching back, lengthening from the toes, from the heel to the crown of the head. Deep breath in here and then bend into the right leg, step back, finding high lunge. Yes. <laughs> Inhale here in your high lunge. Exhale, twist to the right. Stay here or inhale, reaching back. Exhale into that twist. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, let's open it up, warrior two. Breathing here in warrior two and letting it go. Inhale, reverse the warrior. 
Exhale, reach forward, side angle pose. Three breaths, chest spins open. Strong legs, strong arms. Incredible yogis. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, windmilling arms forward, taking your vinyasa. We're meeting in down dog. Nice vinyasas. Deep breath here and down dog. Lengthening from hips to heels, from head to hips. And then we look forward, hop or step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, flat back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. Other side. Taking our strap. Strap around the shoulders. Feet together. Finding a drishti. Neutral spine. Pressing down into the left foot. Lifting the right knee. Finding balance. Taking it further by reaching the strap around the ball of the foot and pressing that foot toward the front of the room. Spine is long, breath is full and even. One more deep breath here. On the next inhale, we're gonna open that right leg to the right pressing against our bind to help us with balance and bringing some softness into the standing leg. You can also just hold your bent knee if that feels better in the moment, listen to your body. Two more breaths here. You're doing it. Inhale back to center. We switch the grip. We get a grip. <laughs> Inhale the right arm up and open as we twist to the right. The gaze shifts, the drishti shifts. We meet our challenges with purpose and love. Two more breaths. <laughs> On the next inhale, let's come back to center. Falling is part of balancing, as I'm demonstrating. Come back to center, release the strap. We're gonna swing that right leg back, coming into warrior three, just for a moment. Stretching from heel to the head, and then bending into the left leg, finding high lunge, saying goodbye to your strap. Inhaling here and high lunge. Exhaling, twist to the left. Inhale, dropping the left arm, reaching up with the right. Exhale back, arms open. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breathing here and letting it go. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, reach forward, side angle. Three breaths here, stretching from the outer edge of the right foot all the way to the right fingertips. Chest pivots from the sky, shoulder relax away from the ear. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill down. Take the vinyasa or meet in down dog. All right, yogis, let's bring our knees down to the mat, feet together, child's pose. Head rests on the mat. You might roll the head side to side, massaging the space of the third eye. 
softening through the shoulders, softening through the hips. And then inhale, let's press ourselves up onto our knees into hero pose, if that's comfortable. You might take a block between your feet and your bum, if that's better. Or you can also take a block between the legs, sitting on the block that way. Just find a comfortable seat. Let's close the eyes, hands on the thighs, breathing deeply, returning to our intention. From here, we'll inhale and exhale, dropping the right uh, ear to right shoulder. Inhale here, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder, and exhale, chin to chest. Let's do a few of those, rocking the head, ear to shoulder, chin to chest, other ear, other shoulder. And then coming back to neutral, we'll tip the chin toward the sky and make a big circle with the chin. Three of those in one direction. And then three in the other. Coming back to neutral. From there, we're gonna inhale the arms up to the sky. We'll exhale, practicing the arms and press the shoulders back. Spine is long. As we inhale, we'll bring arms together and then swoop, swoop the right arm under the left and lift the shoulder, the arms up toward the sky so the elbows are about level with the shoulders. Inhaling here. Feeling the stretch through the back. And gently releasing. We'll take that to the other side. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling to cactus. Pressing the elbows and arms back. And then bringing them together. Swooping the left elbow under. And finding an eagle bind. Lifting those elbows up to eye level or shoulder level. I guess elbows to shoulder level. And breathing. And then we release. From here, um, just rest your hips on the mat. You can swing your legs around. We're going to slowly roll onto our backs, planting the feet um, at hips distance, preparing for back bends. We're going to do two back bends. You can do whichever kind of back bends your body is feeling today. Um, I'm going to cue bridge and then I'll cue supported bridge. But if you're feeling ready to really wind down, a supported bridge is simply placing books or blocks under your hips and pressing the hands to the mat. For a full bridge, we'll press the hands into the mat, feet into the mat, and the lumbar spine, the low spine, presses into the mat, kind of reversing that natural curvature. Shoulders are relaxed. We inhale here. Exhale, pressing into the feet and shoulders and lifting hips and tailbone toward the sky. We're gonna be here for five deep breaths. 
pressing into the feet and shoulders, lifting through the hips. If you want to take it further, you can interlace fingers and tuck the shoulders under the chest. You want your knees <clears throat> to be parallel and to be aligned with your ankles and hips. Pressing the pelvis to the sky. You should have space between your chin and chest and you should be able to do it easily. If that's not the case, just gently come out of the position a little bit. Excellent. Release the hips to the mat. Feet come together. Knees fall wide. This is Sukta Baddha Konasana. You can cactus the arms. Maybe your eyes close for a moment. Breathing deeply. Slowing everything down. We'll inhale the knees back to center. Plant the hands by our sides and take our second back bend. So I'm going to do the supported bridge. You're welcome to do bridge or wheel if it's in your practice. I'm inhaling and setting the block directly under my hips. Feet are still hips distance. And just holding this supported posture for five breaths. If you're in the supported version, you might extend the legs long. I'm just noticing a different sensation there. And then bend the knees back. At the end of your five breaths, remove any blocks. Set the feet to the wide edges of the mat. Let your knees knock together in the center. Pressing the low back into the mat. Just releasing the low back. You can rock the knees gently side to side. Arms might be in cactus arms or whatever feels good. And then let's bring the knees back to center. Cross right um, leg over left and let your knees fall to the left. Coming into a twist, extend the right arm long if that feels good. Gaze can fall in the right hand. Full deep breaths. Scanning the body, noticing any sensation. If you find areas of tension, send the breath there and soften. Inhale, coming back to center. Let's switch the cross of the legs, left over right. Inhale here, exhale, letting the knees fall to the right, left arm stretches out, and the gaze follows. Noticing any differences between the two sides without judgment, simply observing and accepting. Last deep breath here. And then we bring the knees back to center. Now what, you guys? <laughs> We're gonna drop the knees into the chest and roll forward and back three times. You can land in boat if you're feeling it, or just sit up tall. Three, two, 
One, releasing the legs forward, rolling over them to tabletop and taking a vinyasa or moving through cat-cow. We're, we're moving into pigeon pose here, so just do what your body wants to prepare for pigeon. So we'll meet in down dog as you are ready. If you're going to use props for pigeon pose, if you know you like to have them, you might set them now in the middle of your mat. And as you're ready, we'll inhale the right leg to the sky. And as we exhale, that knee draws forward toward the right wrist. And we plant the shin on the mat, extending the left leg back. Hands press into the mat and we lift the spine, lift the chest, gaze is forward. We'll be here for three deep breaths before we release down to rest in pigeon. You can use support if you feel your right hip lifted off the mat, so that's where a blanket or cushion comes in. And as you complete those breaths, stretch the spine forward and bring your head to support on the mat. So you can make a pillow with your hands or you can use a block. The left leg is stretching out directly from the left hip. So you can check that alignment. This, you should not feel any pain. If you do, gently come out. We'll be here for about seven deep breaths. Resting pigeon pose. Wonderful. As you're ready, slowly press yourself up. Tuck those left toes. We're going to press ourselves up, finding through that dog, bending that right knee and opening the hip to the right. Returning to down dog. Deep breath in here. And let that go. Inhale, lifting the left leg to the sky. Exhale, drawing the left knee to the left wrist. Planting the shin on the mat. Extending the right foot back, directly aligned from the right hip. Spine lengthens, pressing the hands into the mat. Gaze is forward. Three deep breaths. Using the support, any supports that you used on the right side, use those on the left to maintain balance across the two sides of the body. And as you're ready, extend the head forward, lengthening the spine as you come down to resting pigeon pose. Supporting the head with the hands or a block. Seven deep breaths. Slowing everything down. Listening to the rhythm of your breath. Noticing physical sensations. Accepting what you find. Sending the body gratitude 
and compassion. When you're ready, gently press yourself up, tuck the right toes, sending the left leg to the sky, bending that knee and opening it up to the left, and then planting it down on the mat, bending the knees and sitting in hero pose. We're gonna move into a, an inversion here. So come onto your hips and we'll come down to our backs. If you have a block, you can take a supported inversion by sliding the block under your hips and lifting the legs to the sky. If you don't have a block, you can simply lift the legs to the sky. This is a wonderful inversion. Getting the feet above the heart. You might rotate the ankles if that feels good. I'm starting to relax and soften the body. Breathing deeply. Listening to the rhythm of the breath, feeling the expansion across the chest, the stomach, the back body, and noticing the drop of the chest, the belly, you exhale. One more deep breath here in our gentle inversion. And then we slowly release the feet to the mat. Remove any props. If there's any last posture your body is asking for, take that now. Otherwise, let's extend the legs to the corners of the mat. Letting the arms fall open, the eyes close, coming into Shavasana. Breathing steep and slow, staying with the breath. with the physical sensation in the body. Bringing our awareness down to our feet. Bringing relaxation into the toes, the feet, the ankles. Leg soften and release. Feeling the calves resting heavily against the earth. Releasing the knees, softening the quadriceps and the hamstrings. Letting go of any tension in the hips. Relaxing the low back, the middle of the back, and the space behind the heart between the shoulders. Letting the back feel heavy and supported. Allowing the shoulders to relax, 
softening of the biceps and triceps. Releasing the elbows. Softening the forearms, and the hands, and wrists. Letting the fingers relax. The hands gently open. Softening and opening through the belly, up through the heart space, chest, clavicle. Relaxing the neck and the jaw. Feeling the skull resting heavily against the mat. Releasing the muscles of the face. Eyelids are heavy. The tongue is soft in the mouth. Scalp relaxes. Shavasana. If you notice your thoughts begin to wander, simply bring them back to the breath, bring them back to physical sensation. Bring them back to the love, compassion, and gratitude that we feel for ourselves as we close our practice. Begin to deepen your breath and bring some movement into your hands and your feet. And roll out the wrists and the ankles. Let's take a long body stretch, lengthening from fingers to toes, and then gently curl into a ball and roll onto your right side. Pausing here, enjoying the sensation. Slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Relaxing the hands on the lap, lengthening the spine. Let's take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up to the sky, bringing the palms together and sending them to the heart space. Gently bowing our chin, returning for a moment to our intention for practice, perhaps setting a new intention for the rest of the day. 
Let's send some loving kindness and gratitude to the support systems that allow us to practice. Whether they be human or technological or animatronic, whatever they may be, spiritual. And with that, I thank you all for practicing with me today. Namaste.